Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 2, verse 39 and 40. Let's read them. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So this is talking about Joseph and Mary. They went to the temple to make, you know, the right kind of sacrifices for their newborn son, who is Jesus. They go back home to Nazareth. Nazareth is kind of a despised city. But nevertheless, that's, that's where Jesus, that's where he's born. That's where he goes back to. And when they go back there, what, what do we read about here? And I think at verse 40, we have something that's really crucial. It's very important to us. So I want to again, let me read it just again. Are you listening? And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now we're going to see this in a few other places also, because we're not going to skip anything going by. But did you notice he became strong in spirit? He grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and God's grace was upon him. People have this idea, you know, that like Jesus was some kind of like a little, a little child prodigy who kind of like knew everything and did miracles right and left. But here we find that Jesus, who came in such a humble way, he came to poor parents who lived in a poor town. He came as a humble infant, he even had to stay, you know, in kind of a manger-like situation. The offerings that are given for Jesus, we've just been going through all this, or the poorest, you know, for the poorest kind of people. And now we see Jesus, he's strong in spirit, he's filled with wisdom. And the child grew and became strong in spirit. Do you see here that we're going to see stronger evidence further on, but Jesus didn't like come like with super and super divine intelligence. Jesus didn't come glowing and doing supernatural things right and left. Jesus was, as, as you could just look at him, he would be a very normal looking human baby. And though things didn't levitate and glow around him, uh, Jesus is just completely looking like the, the most the most Joe normal baby you could find. And he grows. He increases in strength and wisdom. He grows strong in spirit. The Holy Spirit is upon him, and, and God's grace and wisdom fill him. He's being blessed. He's growing. He's growing up. He's being subject to the same kinds of things, you know, like, like, like you and I. You know, there was a time when you were two months old. There was a time when you were two weeks old. There was a time when you were two years old. There was a time when you were 20 years old. Well, there was a time when Jesus was all those things. Even when he had been God before that and came and dropped all that aside, put it into the trust, into the keeping of the Father, and then he grows up and he doesn't even completely know himself. Those things were trusted to the Father. We'll see as we come on further. We'll see how it, how it sort of comes back. But at the beginning, he's just a, a little baby, such a baby, a normal baby. But he is going to grow just like you and I. He's going to have to learn his multiplication tables just like you and I. At his mother's knee, the word that he put into the Old Testament, that's going to be read back to him. And he's going to learn the Bible from his own mother. His own words, his own truth, he's going to learn it from mom. I guess parenting is kind of an important deal. And I guess God's very trusting of parents with their children. He even trusted Jesus with these human parents. Praying time. Dear Father in heaven, the incarnation is a mighty thing. We're blessed by it, Lord. It's, it's wild to us. It just doesn't match some of the viewpoints we've heard or seen in the movies or something of Jesus. But yes, it appears from the scriptures, and I know we're going to see more evidence as we go through, that Jesus grew up as a very normal little baby, and yet he is God come in human flesh. So, Lord, we see again and again these early chapters, these signs of your humility, Jesus' humility. Now, Lord, how can we be big and proud and, and mighty and strong and think we know so much when the God of all the universe came in swaddling clothes and had to learn things just like we have to? Oh, Lord, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that everything we're seeing shows us that he can be. He was as human as we are, and he can be our example in all things. Oh, thank you for Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So much to be thankful for. May God's blessing be upon you today.